hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is claire i'm so excited to have you um this video i'm just showing you how i made this beautiful sunburst mirror wall decor it was easy to make and i'll link all the material in the description box below so just keep watching i'll be using this round mirror that i got from my course it's 10 inches and i traced it out on the cardboard and cut out two pieces and now I'll be drawing lines uh, onto this cardboard. The mat really helped me with the dimensions, but if you don't have, you can also use a protractor. I'm really just basically dividing up all this, and these dimensions will really help me to uh, put my skewers onto this cardboard. After drawing all these lines, I then used the compass to draw a 10 centimeter radius circle inside um, from the center. And then I also drew uh, lines once again, dividing the different quadrants from the inner circle. This is how my pattern looks like for now. So I then got a compass and drew a circle starting with four centimeter radius. Then the next one was at six centimeters. Then the other was at eight centimeters. So you have four circles in total. I'll be using these skewers that I got from the store. They are 11.75 inches long and I'll be gluing them using the hot glue. So I'll be starting with one section. So I glued the skewers on uh, both ends on the 10 centimeter mark. And then I'll go down and glue up to the four centimeter circle. And then I do the eight centimeter and then the six centimeters. That's on one end. And then I'll do the same on the other end, starting with the eight centimeter mark and then the six centimeter mark. As you can see, it forms a very nice V. And that's what we are going to do for all the rest of the sections. If this is your first time here, I'm really glad to have you. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell so that you're notified every time I have a new upload. Thank you. This is how the pattern will really, really come out and it looks so beautiful. Uh, so the next step is to fill in uh, once again. Now I used smaller skewers. These are 9.75 inches long and I'll be filling them in the gaps. So every section is going to have six uh, small skewers. Two will be the original length. Then the next two will be two centimeters shorter. Then the next two will be four centimeters shorter. It's the same procedure as before. So you start from outwards as you get inwards. So in this case, we are starting with the two ends that have the longest skewers popping out. And then you keep going inwards, just keep adding two on every side, then two, then two inside. So you will have six small skewers in every small section. This creates really a nice pattern as you can see and it's really filled up. Um, so the next step is to just uh, cover this piece with uh, my second piece of the cardboard using hot glue. I then took this piece outside and spray painted it using this metallic gold spray paint and this is how my piece looks like. I love the gold and now I'll be gluing my mirror using the E6000. I then glued uh, golden party beads around the mirror using hot glue. And uh, so the last step was basically to add my small circular mirrors. I drew an arc on a foam board and cut it out. 
Now this will help me to put these arcs onto uh, my skewers. Um, the small mirrors, I got them from Joann's and I'll be gluing them onto the skewers using uh, hot glue. On every arc, I used uh, six small mirrors and all around the mirror, I will be doing uh, six arcs all together. And this is our final piece. It's really looking beautiful. Um, to hang it up, I used the uh, small um, clips that I got from the back of uh, Dollar Tree uh, frames and I just glued them in the back and hung it up on the wall. I think this is so beautiful. I just love this mirror decor. It looks so amazing. The mirrors and the sun rays, it just all works out so well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you love it too. Uh, so I decided to make extra two pieces that would match with this, but of a different shade. So I cut out um, cardboard and this is uh, the radius is six uh, centimeters and then I divided it up just like before um, and then I drew a circle in the middle and this circle is um, three centimeters and now I'll be gluing my small skewers uh, just like before using hot glue. All together, I'll be using 32 skewers for uh, this piece. But if you want it thicker, you can add more skewers. I just didn't have enough left, so I just left it at that. And then I took it outside and spray painted gold, the same gold. And then I attached my small mirrors. Now, I had done this before. Basically, it's just a plate that I got from Dollar Tree and then attached a mirror from Dollar Tree as well and then put Mod Podge and added glitter around it. Uh, now, I realized it was really so open, so I decided to add um, these sticks uh, at the back of the plate and I just glued them using uh, the hot glue. As I was working, the glitter kept coming off, but that's fine. I decided to um, add the extra glitter and sealed it up with Mod Podge. And this is how this piece looked like after spraying the sticks once again with gold. And now I'm just attaching these small gems that I got from the 99 cent store. So I made two of these pieces and uh, I'll be hanging them on the wall using two-sided tape or if you want you can use the clips as well. I think they can work. And that's it for the project. Um, I hung them all up on the wall and they were really, really beautiful. I'm so in love with these pieces. I hope you love them as well. They are really easy to make. Uh, please don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to my channel as well as turn the notification bell so that you're notified every time I have a new upload. Um, also share it with your family and friends. And um, yeah, you can check out my description box as well. It has other um, DIYs that I made and I hope you're inspired. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for taking your time to be here. Um, I hope you're inspired and I'll see you next time. Bye.